So what is uh, the world teacher, Sri J. Krishnamurti, what does he say about um, disorder in thought? You know, we look at people, um, mm-hmm. you know, especially in the current, um, uh, in the current times mm-hmm. we live in, mm-hmm. you know, we have uh, so much going on. Our mm-hmm. lives are extremely um, loaded mm-hmm. with so many, you know, media on the one hand, you have career on the one hand, people are running around and we have these smartphones. So I could see that there is so much disorder mm. in our thoughts. Mm. What does the teacher have to say about this? Uh, you are talking about uh, the enormous amount of influx, sensory influx coming into the human being in right. modern society. That's what you're saying. Right. But you're not necessarily talking about uh, thought being in chaos or confusion, because that's a different uh, take altogether. We will get to that. We'll get to that, okay. Uh, So yes, a barrage of information and a barrage of sensory influx is getting into uh, the psychosomatic system. And uh, it may be difficult for it to handle that volume of uh, influx of sensations and information uh, and everything. That is one thing. Could that also be a hindrance Mm for you to be able to um, step back mm. and be in awareness. It is. Uh, some time it's ago, a major hindrance. It is. Some time ago, Madhuji had sent me uh, a very good documentary on uh, the repercussions of the cell phone technology and how young girls uh, are losing their mental balance because uh, somebody is not appreciating are there good looks, uh, which is propagated through selfie and all of that? Hmm? So it's it's a huge tragedy, actually, what's going on. There's a dark side to this uh, technological progress. and uh, But we are not talking about that. Huh? We are talking about something else. Now, coming back to the way this uh, thought is functioning, uh, now I'm going to say something which may jolt you. Uh, now, have you been in a situation in life, you and Madhuji, where you try to convey something to people and uh, people have got, you discover, they've got a knack of uh, misunderstanding everything that you put before them on the table? <laughs> have you Quite many this? times, huh? yes. There you go. So let's take that as a starting point. So there is a, a, a certain negative capacity in man that he has got a way of misunderstanding everything. And we have got to uh, go into that. Why does he misunderstand? He misunderstands reality because of his self. The self uh, pollutes and corrupts the influx which is coming into him because he's got a secret agenda and all its purpose is only to go behind that agenda and to have it fulfilled. Therefore, it does not have the capacity to face reality as it is. What do you say to that? So how does one function Mm. with a coherent thought process Uh. and not have all these various thoughts Uh. come and uh, create Uh. a a, a confusion or Uh. a conflict within them? Uh. That's a very good question. That's uh, that's the most important question. Uh, I think it's a question of understanding the nature of consciousness, understanding the place of thought. And Krishnaji always says that uh, thought has to be used in uh, many areas of life. And there are some areas where thought should not be used, obviously. It should not be used. So, uh, in the whole art of living, which comes through uh, self-knowing or whatever it is, so you have to give thought its rightful place in life so that thought does not become a monster and a ghost. But honestly, in your experience, uh, will you vote for the proposition that thought can is very often a monster and a ghost? Absolutely. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> That's all I want. And th- therefore, it's uh, uh, humanity's uh, primary responsibility to put your house in order. 